नमस्कार स्वागत है सभी दर्शकों का चैनल नंबर नाइन पर डी के ई विद्या चैनल नंबर पर आप चैनल नंबर नाइन पर आप हमें देख रहे हैं मैं हूं देवेंद्र त्रिपाठी और आज के इस सत्र में आज के सेशन में साइंस के स्टूडेंट्स सीखेंगे बहुत ही रोचक टॉपिक है बहुत ही रोचक विषय है आज का और ये है मैटर इन आवर सराउंडिंग्स तो इस विषय पर जो पाठ आप पढ़ने वाले हैं जो टेक्निकल टर्म्स आप सीखने वाले हैं उसके लिए हमारे साथ हमारी आज की एक्सपर्ट आज के मेहमान जुड़ चुकी हैं मुंबई के नेवी चिल्ड्रन स्कूल से टीजीटी नेहा लाहरिया मैम बहुत बहुत स्वागत बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन आपका आज के सत्र में थैंक यू सर गुड आफ्टरनून जी और अपने दर्शकों से एक बार फिर से हम ये जानकारी देना चाहेंगे शेयर करना चाहेंगे अगर आप अपनी प्रतिक्रियाएं या, या अपनी क्वेरीज हम तक पहुंचाना चाहते हैं पोस्ट करना चाहते हैं तो उसके लिए मीडियम्स अलग अलग अवेलेबल हैं इसके लिए मोबाइल नंबर मैं आपको सबसे पहले बता दूं डबल एट डबल ज़ीरो डबल फोर ज़ीरो डबल फाइव नाइन आपकी स्क्रीन पर भी फ्लैश हो रहा है आप देख सकते हैं नोट कर सकते हैं और साथ ही साथ ई एड्रेस भी आपके लिए उपयोगी हो सकता है जो है डी टी एच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट इन माध्यमों से आप हम तक अपनी प्रतिक्रिया इस विषय के इर्द गिर्द आपके मन में जो भी जिज्ञासाएँ या सवाल उठते हैं हम तक पोस्ट कर सकते हैं और हमसे सवाल पूछ सकते हैं हमारे एक्सपर्ट उसका जवाब जरूर देंगे और सत्र की शुरुआत करें उससे पहले एक इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट आपके लिए वी आर प्लीज टू अनाउंस दैट वी आर प्राउड दैट इंडिया एज्यूम्ड द जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी एंड विल कन्वीन द जी ट्वेंटी लीडर्स समिट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द कंट्री इन दिस ईयर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नेशन डीपली कमिटेड टू डेमोक्रेसी एंड मल्टी India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam or the world is one family तो ये रही इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन और आगे बढ़ें सत्र की शुरुआत करें तो सबसे पहले मैं मैम से कहूंगा कि इस विषय के आसपास मैटर इन आवर सराउंडिंग हमारे आसपास के जो मैटर्स हैं जो जिस टॉपिक पर हम चर्चा करने वाले हैं उसकी एक बैकग्राउंड अपने स्टूडेंट्स के साथ शेयर करें मैम यस सर थैंक यू सो मच सो टुडे आई एम टेकिंग अप द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन आवर साइंस टेक्स्ट बुक व्हिच इज मैटर इन आवर सराउंडिंग्स सो इट इज द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल चैप्टर बिकॉज इट इज कवरिंग द मोस्ट बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पार्टिकल्स दैट एग्जिस्ट अराउंड अस सो वेन एवर वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट साइंस हमें पता है कि हमारे आस पास हर जगह साइंस है हम कहीं भी देखें हर डिरेक्शन में हमें साइंस दिखाई देगी सो दिस चैप्टर इज ऑल अबाउट मैटर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स विच मेक अप द मैटर जी तो पहला सवाल मैं मैम आपसे यही करना चाहूँगा कि अगर हम आसपास की चीज़ों को देखें तो देर आर शुगर साल्ट सैंड्स ई टी सी टेक the shape of their containers does this means they are solid i'm sorry sir could you please repeat yes uh, uh, agar hum baat kare hamare aas pass ke jo matters hain jo particles hain usme chahe sugar hai salt hai ya phir sands hain ye sabhi jis container mein rakhe jate hain usi shape mein aa jate hain to kya inhe hum solid mante hain क्या ये सॉलिड मटेरियल्स हैं? यस, दैट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली हमें पता है कि सॉलिड्स जो होते हैं दे हैव अ फिक्स्ड शेप एंड दे हैव अ फिक्स्ड वॉल्यूम बट फिर भी जब हम देखते हैं कि हम सॉल्ट शुगर सैंड ये कोई भी कंटेनर में डालें सो दे टेक अप द शेप ऑफ दैट कंटेनर एंड दैट इज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द साइज ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल क्रिस्टल्स सो इवन दो दे आर टेकिंग अप द शेप ऑफ द कंटेनर the individual crystals of sugar salt sand all these particles they have a fixed shape and they have a fixed volume so they are still classified as uh, solids yes ma'am so uh, my next question is if i ask uh, around this topic is uh, solids are denser than liquids uh, then why does ice float on water right so as we move ahead in our topic we will be discussing about density how is density calculated and how is density of solids different than that of liquids and hum dekhenge ki solids ki density zyada hoti hai aur liquids ki density kam hoti hai fir bhi ice jo ki ek solid hai it floats on water 
and that is only because of the structure of ice and the structure of ice is actually like a cage aur uske andar bahut sari hollow space hoti hai it is filled with air and because of that it is able to float on water so this is a very nice exception to show that even though liquids have lesser density than solids there is still a solid that floats on a liquid ओके मैम क्या हम इस विषय को इस चीज को इस टॉपिक को पीपीटी के माध्यम से अपनी स्क्रीन पर अपने छात्रों को अपने दर्शकों को शो कर सकते हैं दिखा सकते हैं यस सर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस टॉपिक एंड बिफोर वी डाइव इनटू सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स गैसेस देयर आर अ फ्यू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पार्टिकल्स दैट वी शुड नो तो हमें पता है मैटर इज एनीथिंग व्हिच हैज मास एंड ऑक्युपाइज स्पेस दैट मींस matter has mass and it has a fixed volume so ye mass aur ye volume kahan se aa raha hai it is coming from the particles that make up matter and these particles have some characteristics which you can see on the screen so first of all the particles of matter have space between them and we call this space as interparticle space so the amount of space is different in solids it is different in liquids and it is different in gases but all particles of matter do have some kind of space between them so we can see this in our real life jab bhi hum ek spoon sugar ek glass of water mein dalte hain and we mix it we see that the sugar crystals suddenly disappear into the water so how is this happening so the sugar crystals are not actually disappearing they are occupying the spaces which are present between the water molecules so simple activities like these can prove these characteristics very easily so the second characteristic is that particles of matter are continuously moving ye bhi hum dekh sakte hain agar hum ek transparent container le aur uske andar hum pani bhar de and if we put a few drops of ink inside that water we will see that the color slowly starts to spread on its own even without any external force even without mixing so how is this happening this happens because particles of ink they are moving on their own and this is what the second property is particles of matter are continuously moving now due to this motion they possess some kind of kinetic energy and again this kinetic energy is different for solids liquids and gases which we will be discussing in the coming part of the topic so lastly particles of matter attract each other so we call this as interparticle force of attraction so whether it is a solid liquid or gas the particles are always attracted to each other it is just a matter of how strong or weak the force of attraction is so this brings us to the three categories the three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas So let's quickly dive into each of these three categories and we will start with solids first. So as you can see in the diagram there are small spheres blue colored spheres which are arranged very compactly very tightly with each other. So this is how particles of a solid are arranged. So this gives the solids a definite shape and a distinct boundary and a fixed volume. so as you can see the spheres are arranged very compactly the interparticle space is negligible it is very less and because of the lack of interparticle space solids don't have much compressibility we can say that the compressibility is negligible na ke barabar another important property of solids is that they are rigid so if we apply some force on a solid we will not be able to change the shape it may break but the shape will not change the boundary will not change so this is because again the interparticle space is very less there is no space for the particles to move around and this brings us to the next property as well since the motion is restricted to vibration about the mean position particles of a solid have the least amount of kinetic energy because ye particles jo hai inke paas na hi space hai idhar udhar move karne ki और इनका जो फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन होता है दैट इज ऑल्सो द ग्रेटेस्ट सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस देयर मोशन इज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड एंड दे हैव द लीस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी नाउ लास्टली वी टॉक अबाउट डेंसिटी 
so what is density it is actually the amount of mass which is present in a fixed volume so if we compare solids liquids gases and if we take a fixed volume to compare the three we will see that solids have the greatest amount of mass so that's why solids have the highest density among the three states of matter so some examples that i have mentioned are table door chair etc ball so all of us can easily spot solids around us and uh, we can see that solids are what compose most of the matter in our surroundings so let's go to the next state of matter that is liquids as you can see in the diagram the blue spheres now are not as compactly arranged as they were in solids you can see there is some amount of interparticle space between the between the blue spheres so this gives the property of liquids of not having a fixed shape so whenever we pour a liquid into any container it will easily take up the shape of that container and that is because these particles have some space to move around and they don't have a fixed shape but they do have a fixed volume so because of the little amount of particle space which is present liquids are slightly compressible now another important property for liquids is that they are not rigid they are fluid that means they can flow and they can change their shape since these particles have some amount of space to move around they have higher kinetic energy than the particles of solids and as we can see that if we take a fixed volume the amount of particles will be lesser than that uh, as compared to solids so this means that liquids have a little lesser density than uh, solids another important property is that these particles have a lesser force of attraction and it is because of this property that they are able to move around and they have the space between the particles so some examples that i have mentioned are water juice alcohol oil and all of us can easily spot liquids all around us right so before we move to gases there is an important phenomena that we should be aware of and that is called as diffusion so if you see in the little animation on the right side of the screen you can see the black and the orange spheres they are moving around randomly and they are intermixing with each other so this mixing of one substance with another due to the motion of its particles is what is called as diffusion so solids liquids and gases they can all diffuse into liquids because there is a lot of vacant space between the particles of liquids but there is a little lesser space in solids than liquids so the rate of diffusion of liquids is greater than that of solids now an important property about diffusion is that it is dependent on temperature so this means that if we increase the temperature the kinetic energy of the particles will also increase the random motion will also increase and they will be able to mix with each other in a much better way so an example of this around us is when we have food cooking in our houses so we must have observed that whenever the food is hot the smell reaches us quickly but if the food is cold the smell doesn't reach us as quickly as it would so this is because the temperature of hot food is obviously higher so the particles are able to move around with a higher kinetic energy so the rate of diffusion is higher when the food is hot so this brings us to the next state of matter that is gases and as you can see in the diagram we have very little amount of particles present in a fixed volume so this is because particles of gases have a lot of interparticle space between them and they have the least amount of uh, force of attraction between the particles so this gives them the property of not having a fixed shape and neither do they have a fixed volume so we will observe in our daily lives that gases are always trying to expand because the particles have the least amount of forces of attraction and the volume always keeps on increasing so this means that gases are highly compressible because they have so much space between the particles and just like liquids gases are also fluid they can flow the particles of gases have the maximum amount of kinetic energy 
because the particles have so much space to move around and they have the least forces of attraction and because of this high speed and random motion they can also diffuse very fast into each other so lastly gases exert pressure on the walls walls of their container so because of the random motion of particles and because of their high speed high kinetic energy jo bhi container hota hai jisme bhi gases present hoti hai that container the walls of that container experiences some amount of pressure because of the particles of gases so the few examples of gases are oxygen hydrogen helium the air around us the air that we breathe it is a gas so to quickly summarize all the properties that we have learned about solids liquids and gases here is a table for all of you for easy reference so if we talk about the shape it is fixed for solids but for liquids and gases the shape is not fixed if we talk about volume it is fixed for solid and liquid but volumes of gases are not fixed so we discussed about diffusion and we saw that solids can diffuse into liquids and liquids have a little higher diffusibility than solids but gases have the maximum amount of diffusibility if we talk about compressibility solids and liquids are not that much compressible but gases are highly compressible because they have a lot of interparticle space between them if you talk about rigidity and fluidity solids are rigid whereas liquids and gases are fluid we spoke about density and we saw that solids have the highest density among the three and liquids have moderate density which is lesser than solids and gases have the least amount of density if we speak about the kinetic energy of particles we discussed that particles of solids they don't have much space to move around hence the kinetic energy is the least and it is a little higher in liquids and maximum in gases interparticle space is also the least in solids in liquids it is more than solids and in gas again the interparticle space is the maximum so lastly if we speak about interparticle force of attraction we saw that particles of solids were compactly arranged they were very close to each other so this means that these forces of attraction are very strong in solids they are a little lesser stronger in liquids and they are the weakest in gases now solids liquids and gases they can easily convert into each other and as you can see in the figure there are different terms for interconversion of states of matter so if you have a solid which is converting into a liquid we call it as fusion and in common terms we also call it as melting if it is a liquid converting into a gas we call it as vaporization and if it is a gas getting converted to a solid it's called deposition now if we go in the opposite direction when a solid directly converts into a gas without getting converted to a liquid we call it as sublimation a gas converting to a liquid will be called as condensation and when a liquid converts to a solid we call it as solidification or in common terms we also call it as freezing so let us discuss fusion which is the first uh, interconversion of state of matter so fusion is also called as melting in our daily language so it is the conversion of solids to liquids now we know that a solid will melt into a liquid whenever we apply some amount of heat but it is important for us to know what is actually happening at the particle level when we apply some amount of heat so when we increase the temperature what actually happens is the particles they gain kinetic energy and they start moving around with a greater speed so there comes a point where the heat overcomes the forces of attraction and eventually these particles they start moving around so fast and with such great energy that the solid gets converted to a liquid so the minimum temperature at which this whole process of melting is happening is called as melting point now all of us must have seen melting of ice in our daily life and if we observe it very carefully we will see that ice melts layer by layer so first the surface will melt it will get converted to a liquid and then the new surface which is exposed to the air it will start melting so this is why we call fusion as a surface phenomena 
because it is happening at the surface of the solid. Now there is an important term which we should all know that is latent heat of fusion. If we perform this experiment, if we take some ice, if we apply heat to that ice and if we use a temp thermometer to me measure the temperature, we will see that as soon as the temperature reaches zero degrees, the ice starts to melt. But till the time the whole melting process is over, the temperature in the thermometer is still zero degrees, even though we are continuing the heat supply. Now, why is this happening? Why is the temperature not changing even though the heat is continuously being supplied for melting? This is because the heat is getting used up in changing the state. So this heat is getting used up by the particles to overcome the forces of attraction. Now, because the temperature change is not visible on the thermometer, we say that it is hidden somewhere or we say that it is latent. So this amount of heat energy that is required to change 1 kg of a solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure and at its melting point is known as the latent heat of fusion. So latent heat of fusion is what is the amount of heat energy which is used to melt 1 kg of solid to liquid. Now I have a question for the students who are watching this. What do you think will have more energy? The particles in water at 0 degree Celsius or the particles in ice at the same temperature at 0 degree Celsius? So we know that energy is dependent on temperature. But if we keep the temperature the same, why, which one do you think will have more energy? The particles of a liquid or the particles of a solid? Okay. So, we have reached the end of the last year and there was a question that you had to ask me when you started. Yes, sir. If I ask you, if solids are not compressible, then why are we able to compress a sponge? Because water is also solid. Yes, that is a question 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 Sponge is a material which has a lot of air cavities inside. So there are a lot of pores in which air is trapped air hai, and because of that we are able to compress a sponge. So even though it is compressible, a sponge is still a solid because of the air cavities. Okay. So, uh... आगे बढ़ें और हम सत्र में अपने दर्शकों से विदा लें उससे पहले मैं आपसे आग्रह करना चाहूँगा कि एक बार जो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनको आज के टॉपिक के इर्द गिर्द कुछ एक्सरसाइज आप बताएं जिसमें जो उन्होंने सीखा है उसको कैसे आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हैं मैटर सराउंडिंग और और सराउंडिंग्स तो उसको कैसे आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हैं कैसे वो एक्सरसाइज कर सकते हैं और इस टॉपिक को और अधिक ढंग से सीख सकते हैं राइट सो दिस इज अ टॉपिक विच वी कम अक्रॉस इन आर डेली लाइफ तो जैसे मैंने एग्जांपल्स दिए गरम खाने के या फिर शुगर डिसॉल्विंग इन वाटर दीज आर थिंग्स दैट वी कैन डू अराउंड अस इजीली सो अनदर एक्टिविटी विच यू ऑल कैन ट्राई एट होम इज टू टेक अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ हनी एंड टेक वन स्पून ऑफ हनी एंड पोर इट इन टू अ ग्लास ऑफ वाटर वी स्पोक अबाउट डिफ्यूजिबिलिटी सो वी आर एक्चुअली एडिंग अ लिक्विड टू अनदर लिक्विड And to compare this, you can also take some amount of salt and add it to a different container. So, you will see that without mixing, the honey hai, it will take a lot of time to mix in the water on its own. And the salt hai, it will take a lesser amount of time. So, this is also a way to understand how diffusion works in solids and liquids. Thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us uh, for today's session. And the topic was uh, matter uh, in our surroundings. Or, thank you so much. I want to say that you have been joined with our students and our students. You have been joined with our students. And 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 you have been joined with our students. और आगे बढ़ें और अपने दर्शकों से मैं विदा लूं उससे पहले मैं 
चाहूँगा एक इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन शेयर करना नई पाठ्य पुस्तकों को लेकर 2023-24 सत्र के लिए अगर अब तक आपने पाठ्य पुस्तकें नहीं ली हैं तो अभी भी आपके सामने विकल्प हैं और देश के अलग अलग शहरों में सेल्स काउंटर एन के सेल्स काउंटर्स अवेलेबल हैं जहां से आप पुस्तकें खरीद सकते हैं इन सेल्स काउंटर्स पर सुबह साढ़े नौ बजे से शाम छः बजे के बीच आप जा सकते हैं और और अधिक जानकारी के लिए आप हमारी हमारी वेबसाइट एन पर लॉग ऑन कर सकते हैं और साथ ही साथ आप ऑनलाइन डिलीवरी के लिए भी ऑर्डर कर सकते हैं पता आपको बता देते हैं वेबसाइट का एन इसके अलावा आप हमारे मोबाइल एप्लीकेशनस या वेबसाइट्स जो है दीक्षा ई पाठशाला और एन इन माध्यमों से अपनी कक्षा की अपने विषय की पाठ्य पुस्तक को डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं और सॉफ्ट कॉपी सॉफ्ट फॉर्म में आप उसे पढ़ सकते हैं अपने मोबाइल फ़ोन लैपटॉप या टैबलेट पर साथ ही साथ प्रिंट आउट लेकर बुक फॉर्म में अपने पास रख सकते हैं तो इस सूचना के साथ ही अब मैं चाहूँगा आज के सत्र को यहीं संपन्न करने की आपसे अनुमति लेकिन आप लगातार बने रहिए ई विद्या प्लेटफॉर्म पर आप सभी का शुक्रिया नमस्कार